short and sweet. I go to the polygon modeling shelf and I create with the right mouse button a soccer ball. In the front or side window I select the faces and I delete the bottom faces. And in this window I go back to object mode and this is ready for fur now. And under modeling you find the generate menu which starts with the X gen. And here you have create interactive groom splines. When we're working with uh, X gen we better choose the interactive groom X gen window layout. It's just a layout and we can always come back to the Maya classic right here. But this is the interactive groom layout. And here we have the description of our hair with all the attributes. We can change the width scale from 0.1 to 0.01. So we have very thin hair. Now we want more hair and um, this is in the description base. It's a density multiplier and uh, we can type in 100 for example. So we have quite a dense network of hair and now we want the hair to be shorter and that's under scale and here we change the, the mask as it's called to 0.2 for example. Now we have nice short hair. We hide the original geometry and we're gonna groom the hair a little bit. Here is an X-Gen tab and in the X-Gen tab one of my favorites is this one. It's the grab tool. This is the size of the brush with which we now move the hair. Another nice thing is the comb tool. I wish you a nice day with fur and X-Gen. Bye bye. Sure.